Jesus is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. Do you realize Jesus is not a way? He's not a truth. Don't we need the truth in a world of lies? We turn on the television, we can't believe a word we hear in the news today. It's all propaganda. It's all propaganda. Our politicians are lying to us. We know, don't we? It doesn't matter whether we vote left or right. It doesn't matter. It all remains the same. They're lying to us. They're lying to us. They made a packet over this pandemic. The big, big farmer made a packet out of us pretending to save lives so that they could earn a quick buck, a quick money. Friends, it's only calling out to Jesus. It's only calling out to Jesus. He's the only one that's going to rescue us. He is the only one that's going to give us strength. He's the only one that can save us from deadly pestilence. You know, Jesus prophesied that there would be deadly viruses. He said that in the time of the end, there would be deadly viruses that would cover the earth. We are living in that time. We are living in that time. Jesus said it would happen. He said there would be earthquakes, there would be pestilences, there would be wars, and there would be rumours of wars. Friends, we are living in that time, and it's surely time to turn to God. It's surely time for us to call out to him while he may be found. Friends, don't turn to alcohol to deaden the pain. Don't turn to drugs to deaden the pain, or to pornography, or television, or movies, or sport. Friends, Jesus is the only one that can deliver us. He is our deliverer. He is our rescuer. He is here, friends. I speak because Jesus has given it to me. He delivered me. He delivered me from all evil. He delivered me. You know, he delivered me from 20 years. 20 years. I used to have these uh, nightmares. 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 And I was paralyzed on my bed. The devil would come. Demons would come. And Jesus, one day, he delivered me. He delivered me. That's why I know that he can deliver you. He can deliver you. He can deliver you from all evil. He can deliver you from all evil. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear absolutely no evil, for you are with me. Jesus promised to never leave us or forsake us. All we need to do is call out to him and he will never, ever leave us. He will be there with us when we breathe our last. Friends, I was just talking to somebody earlier and he said he was, he was so, so scared about dying. Friends, you know, the Bible says that death has lost its sting. When we turn to Jesus Christ, we have no fear of death. I've got no fear of death. I've got no fear of death. Why? Because I know exactly where I'm going. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to die because it is the doorway to a wonderful existence with God. He's here. Jesus is here. This is eternal life. To know God and to know his son, Jesus Christ, is the only way. Jesus is the door. Jesus is the only way to eternal life. We're not going to find it through any other way. Did you know that the Bible is the most popular book of all time? It's the number one best-selling book of all time. They reckon there are seven billion copies of the Bible in print. That's practically a Bible for every person on the planet. That says something about the Bible, doesn't it? Why are people so interested in the Bible? People are also interested in eternal life. You know Jeff Bezos and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook and Amazon, they're interested in eternal life. They're investing billions. People are investing billions in trying to find eternal life. People don't want to die. People don't want to die. But friends, I'm here today to say we don't have to invest a penny. We don't have to invest a penny because the Bible already tells us that this is eternal life, to know God. All we need to do is open the door and say, Jesus, come in, come in. It doesn't matter, friends, what we've done. It doesn't matter if we've made mistakes. Jesus, he's just saying, just, just I want to come in because I love you. I love you. It's his love, it's his great love. It's because of his great love that we are not consumed. This is what the Bible says, because of his great love, we are not consumed. You know, if God did not have great love for us, we would be consumed right now. Right now, for all of our sin, for my sin, I'd be consumed right here. But you'd, you'd see just a ball of fire in this exact moment. But friends, because of his great love, we are not consumed. We are not consumed because he loves you. He loves you. Can you believe he loves you with all of your things, with all of your problems, with all of the things that you did wrong? He's opening the door. He's saying, Jesus, come in. He said, Jesus, Jesus wants to come in. Jesus wants to come into our hearts. He wants to come into our lives. That's right, brother. He wants to come into your heart. He wants to come into your life. Just open the door. Open the door. Jesus is here for you. Jesus is here for us. He's here for us, friends. Jesus is calling out and he's saying, Come unto me. Come unto me, all who are weary. All who are weary, and I will give you rest. 
rest for your souls. Friends, we don't have to take another pill. We don't have to take another tablet to find rest. We don't have to have a couple of glasses of wine or a couple of pints of beer to find rest. Oh, Jesus is the rest for our souls. He gives us the rest. He will give you the rest. All we need to do is open the door. Open the door of our heart. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. Friends, open the door. Open the door of your heart. Open the door. It's time to open the door. Jesus is here for you right now. Friends, when we are on our deathbed, we will be calling out to him. Friends, we might think we've got many years to go. We might think we've got 50, 60, 70 years left. But friends, time is running out. It's time for us to call out to God. Let's not mock God. Let's not mock God because Jesus said that there will be many mockers in the end. Friends, but one day we will stand before God. We will stand before Jesus Christ, our righteous judge. And he's calling out to us. Friends, there is only one way to God. There are not any other ways. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Did you know you cannot get to God through any other religion but through Jesus Christ. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And he gives us life today. It's, his, it's eternal life, friends, because we are wickedness. We are wicked. We've got sin in our life. And friends, he wants to give us this new life right now, right here on the streets of Folkestone. Jesus is the way. He is the eternal life. Friends, and he's coming. He's coming on the clouds of heaven and every eye will see. Friends, time is running out. Please, please hear me, friends. People want to go to the movies. They want to turn on the television. They'll listen to all of that rubbish. They'll listen to the news. But they won't, they won't listen to people like this on the streets. But friends, these are the people calling out like the fireman who's running up the, 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 the ladder trying to rescue people from the burning house. Friends, let's listen. Let's hear the words. Let's know that Jesus Christ is coming again soon. And he's going to judge the living and the dead. Every eye will see. It is time, friends, for us to turn to God. It is time for us to turn to Jesus Christ. So many people are just living this life as though it's going to carry on forever. And in fact, the Bible says that very same thing. The Bible says that people were getting married, people were having parties, people were just getting on as normal. And then suddenly, you know what happened? The flood came and took them all away. The flood came. Friends, the Bible, the Bible was clear. God would never flood the earth again. You know what he did? He put a beautiful rainbow in the sky. That was a promise. Did you know that's what the Bible says? The rainbow is God's promise. It's not about anything else. It's just about God's promise that he would never flood the earth again. But you know what? The Bible declares that the earth will actually be destroyed by fire. By fire. Can you believe it? The Bible will be the, 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 the Bible says that the earth will be destroyed by fire. And it says, what kind of life should we live? Holy, it says. How can we live a holy life? We can't do it, friends. We can't do it. Have you ever tried to do good? it's impossible isn't it it's impossible to do good that's why we need to call out to Jesus because he is the only one who can do it he is the holy one he is the holy one and we can call out to him and we can put our faith in Jesus Christ and he will save us he will rescue us friends it's not going to be our politicians it's not going to be our health institutions they're not going to save us friends we've got to turn our lives over to Jesus Christ and he will redeem us he will give us this life he will give us this peace he will give us this joy and he will rescue us from from hell he will rescue us from the hell of this life and he will rescue us from the hell that is to come 